Hello everyone, this is Raymond here. Today, I'm going to talk about my legal journey and what are the steps I'm going to take, okay? Let me just share the slides, huh? okay? As you know, I mean, in my view, I allege that uh, SPH uh, has committed subjudice offense by talking about an ongoing case. I have to use the words allege because only the court can decide whether it's subjudice. I can only make a report or, or to take legal action. Okay. So now, so I'm going to talk about my legal journey and the four main steps. And of course, the, the steps are as follow. The, the more steps I take, the more extensive we get. And the more steps I take, the more time I have to spend, okay? I have no doubt that in Singapore, there is a rule of law, but it's just that how much time and how much money I have to spend to get it, okay? Okay, when I say money, uh, I don't mean, uh, I don't mean illegitimate expense. I mean that, uh, you know, even if you go to court, you have to spend some legit expense like, the court fees and of course when you when you spend for the lawyers you have to spend lawyer fee you know all these expenses are legitimate i'm not talking about any other expense they are not legitimate okay just to clarify okay uh i firmly believe <clears throat> i firmly believe singapore has a rule of law it's just that maybe it could be very costly okay so now let me just go on so the the four steps i follow okay the four main step to purge sp is sub uh, okay, alleged subjudice offense. Okay, allege. I allege that they, they, they have subjudice. Okay, I have uh, <clears throat> the four main steps I follow. I have made a police report. Honestly, I don't think it's useful. Nobody has uh, called me back yet. I have emailed to ministers and the cabinet. I have done so. Uh, I don't think it's useful. Nobody has replied me. So uh, I will be doing those videos separately to, to tell you what I've done. Okay, the third and fourth, I have uh, not done yet. Uh, the third step is the lawyer letter, the letter of demand to SPH before a legal action can should, should take. So uh, the fourth step is commence proceeding for contempt of court. Apparently from what I read, uh, I have to apply for this, uh, an order of committer, okay? So now uh, I, I don't know what is it. I have to ask a lawyer, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to uh, take action without a lawyer. So I'm going to hire a lawyer and that is what I'm going to do, okay? So for now, the next question is that who do I hire as a lawyer, okay? I have uh, done up the next few video and talking about the few lawyers I have in mind. Do subscribe to this channel to know that. And of course, before we go on, I would like to do a survey I would like to do a survey. And the survey is on venture.net, okay? And uh, of course, uh, for, for if you want to know my legal journey, please subscribe to this channel now. So I want you to uh, submit to the survey. And uh, I understand this survey could be uh, uh, sensitive. So what I'm going to do now is that I allow the survey to be totally anonymous. What is a survey? This is a sub judy survey. The survey is talking about how much time we would need, uh, we would need uh, for for the court to act on uh, SPH. I can only say that because uh, only the court can decide whether it's subjudice. Okay, so now, so now let me just go to the website. Okay, this is venture.net. So how are you gonna submit for? Uh, how are you going to submit for, for the survey like this? You go to this one, don't log in if you want to be remain anonymous so that I can never know who submitted. I want it to be totally anonymous. Okay, so this is subject survey, okay? Go to click more. And then I'm, okay, uh, disclaimer, huh? I really do believe that Singapore having the rule of law, but the question is what would it cost me in time and money? Okay, I will have to state here, I, I, when I mean money, I mean legitimate expenses uh, and legitimate court fees and lawyer fees. I do not mean any illegitimate money, okay? So now, okay, uh, I have emailed to the cabinet, PM, K. Shamugam, how long do you think they will take to respond? Okay, don't, don't submit one week, it's already one week already, okay? So you just tell me whether your guess is two weeks, four weeks or no response, okay? 
okay, well, why don't you tell me I have submitted a police report about a few days back. So chances are they may still respond within one week. It was about two days back, okay? And then two weeks, four weeks or no response, okay? Okay, there will be an actual sub court case. Uh, in the case, if uh, S page is not going to respond to me, to my letter of demand, I will have to proceed on to the actual lawsuit, okay? So the actual court case, how long do you think they'll take to respond? One week, two weeks, or four weeks, okay? Or no response, okay? I myself want to uh, submit, okay? Okay, since the one week is gone, uh, I will just maybe put four weeks. I have faith that a PM and a car case Shamugan will eventually respond to me, okay? Uh, police report, I personally, I don't think they will respond at all. So I just put no response. This is my own uh, response, okay? So I just sub to this, I... I don't know. I, I when when the case is filed, maybe a, I I don't know, actually maybe more than four weeks. Since the choice is only four weeks, then I move four weeks. Okay, okay. So I submit. Okay, and it's anonymous. They don't even know that I submit this. You only know it because I do this as a video, so you know that I am doing it. Okay. So after this form is submitted, it be recorded, and uh, that shall be all. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, and remember to know my. Uh, to know my legal journey, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, I'll be updating more. Thank you very much.